TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets starting off in pretty substantial negative territory. All the indices down about 1% so far. You get the Dow down 274 points, trading at 25,688. S&P's down 27 points, trading at 28.28, and the NASDAQ, negative 86 points, trading at 77.52. We'll start things off this morning. Let's take a look at that VIX, volatility index, getting a little bit of negative action in the market, seeing a spike above 15 for the first time in a while to pull this back, even just on a daily basis to see where we are. And it wasn't that long, I guess, but you bring it back. We're talking about where were we? March 8th, since the last time we climbed, 15.27 on that VIX currently. Jumping over to some of the markets, we'll start it off with the Dow. So we were coming into the market open, and there is your 940, so there's your 930 opening bell bar. We're trading 25,901 for the high there, currently trading 25,737. NASDAQ 100 spiked to 7510 right after the opening bell. From there, you trade from 7510 all the way down in the span of like 25 minutes to 74.42, talking about 70 NASDAQ 100 points, currently trading 74.57. S&Ps trade lower after the opening bell as well, was up there at 28.50, spiked to a low just a few minutes ago of 28.31, talking about almost 20 S&P points in the span of about 20 minutes. Crude oil trading a bit lower as well, we were up there hovering around $60, Currently, you have crude trading at 58.79. Gold contract, as you got an acceleration in the market to the downside, gold getting a little bit of a spike higher. You have gold trading at 13.1367. And euro US dollar trading 113.04. What else you have happening out there? Pretty interesting when you take a look. So, the bond market flashing its biggest recession signal since before the financial crisis. Pretty remarkable the spread between the three month and the 10-year Treasury note has fallen below 10 basis points. I believe that just went negative, too, as that happens. So you're able to get a higher interest rate on a three-month contract versus a 10-year, an inverted yield curve. Pretty remarkable. Other stocks out there, you got Nike pulling back, and uh, you got Boeing pulling back as well, as they are already losing billions of dollars of orders, let alone the plethora of stories out there. None of them good. Boeing, down about 2%, 366. Nike, down about 5%, $84. Stay tuned. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all Friday till 4. Have a great day, everybody.